So, you've got your eye on this girl, but winning her over seems like a roller coaster ride. One minute you're on top of the world, the next you're down in the dumps. You might even feel like throwing in the towel. But don't lose hope, because after watching this video, your chances of winning her over could double. Don't believe me? Just think about it. Why do you think you're always on this emotional roller coaster when pursuing girls? It's because you're only using a single, thoughtless strategy. And to her, that can quickly become uninteresting. But here's the silver lining. Regardless of whether you've confessed your feelings or not, or even if you've been turned down, it doesn't matter. In today's video, I'll guide you step by step on how to build secondary attraction just through conversation. You'll learn how to make her fall for you all over again. So like and save this video. Once you've learned half of it, you'll be able to make girls fall for you all over again. Learn it all, and you might find yourself in a situation where girls are flocking to you every day and your phone won't stop ringing. I once had a guy message me privately. He had studied in France before and had just returned to China not long ago. He was introduced to a girl by his family. They've been seeing each other for more than three months and have met twice. The last time they met, she brought him a cup of coffee. That coffee cup, which he still has, feels like a symbol of their love. She's very lively and also very thoughtful. Being with her brings him genuine happiness. Every time she flirts with him, he feels like his heart is melting. He really, really likes her. So he's been putting a lot of thought into this. He's even bought enough clothes and bags to hold a fashion show. But he noticed that in their chats, he's usually the one initiating the conversation. She only occasionally shows interest in his life. A few days ago, he couldn't resist asking her out. She said she'd think about it. But then yesterday, she told him they're not suitable. He's wondering if he did something wrong. He really likes her and needs advice. What should he do? Let's first take a look at this guy's chat with the girl. The guy sent a bunch of messages first. The girl didn't reply. The guy started to question, Do you have any issues with me? I always have to be the one to reach out. You never come to me. The girl took half an hour before she replied. She said, I've thought about it. I don't think we're suitable. So that's it. You're left wondering, did I mess up somewhere? Can you tell me? I'm willing to change. But the girl doesn't respond. The next day, you send another message. Didn't you mention you wanted to try lobster? There's a new place that's pretty good. Wanna go? The girl replies, I already told you that we're not suitable for each other. Why don't you give up? You're hurt. You're clueless about what went wrong. So you seek help. I told you, don't be too down. If she truly believes you two aren't suitable, you're now off her radar. But she must still have some expectations of you. Although you may think there's no hope, let me tell you, if you follow my advice, I'm 90% sure I can help you win her back. So what's the right move at this time? It's quite simple. Do the opposite. I let you be so devastated. You ask, why are you asking this? Is there something wrong with having a meal with friends? Aren't we good friends? Let's just follow the girl's lead. Leave her with no way out. In turn, it gives girls the illusion of being rejected by you. The girl will definitely not be happy. She will definitely resist. And with emotional interaction, only then will there be opportunities for good feelings to arise. So, we said that even though we said so, but you are also a very special one among my friends. Our style has changed. It gives girls another illusion. Sure enough, this guy still likes me. Then he went on to say that it is easier to get along with you. I can completely let my guard down and be myself. Are there any girls here? There is a reply, but it doesn't matter. It's time to be poor and humble. We can move the world with one move to arouse this girl's emotions. We said that we have been together for a long time. There will still be an illusion of love. Don't use your identity as a good friend from now on. Just reimburse me financially. Let's use a joke. Send a signal to retreat. Tell the girl directly, it's okay to be friends, but I will take back my good deeds. Guys, don't think this is too straightforward. In feelings, just ask if you have any questions. If you have any dissatisfaction, bring it up. That's the right way to get along. What does the girl mean? It sounds like I am only seeking profit. It's me who asks you to be nice to me. Now I regret it. 
Don't make excuses here. Where are the girls here? Emotions broke out. But it just proves that she knows it too. Always using the identity of a friend to take advantage of the big brother. Shouldn't be. In other words, so you're feeling antsy. But remember, the more anxious she gets, the cooler your head needs to be. I advised this guy to respond. I was kind to you because I liked you, but you clearly rejected me. So, I'm definitely not going to make things difficult. I'm not like you, being ambiguous as a friend. I despise that kind of thing. We're just trying to tell her with a firm attitude. This time, I'm serious. The more you look at it, the more something seems off. This is the awakening of the guy who's been too accommodating. And this is the girl who has always been on top, absolutely intolerable. So, I tell you, her emotions will definitely explode again next. Sure enough, girls are bombarding him with direct messages. She even called this guy a few times. And I say, you don't have to pay attention to the girl's current mood. The greater the fluctuation, the more it can prove that she is guilty. So now you just need to stay calm. Give girls more time to think about your relationship, to respond to your kindness to her. Then think about the harm she did to you. After she thinks it through, she will definitely come to you again. Sure enough, two hours later, the girl sent a message. Please answer the phone. I want to talk to you carefully. The guy hesitated when he saw this. What does she mean? Does she regret it? I told this guy. She can use this to continue to reject you without any guilt. So, let's just go back and say what's there to say. Tell me about your hard-to-get attitude. Or should I say that you welcome your desires even if they reject them? I admit that you are smart. I am also a person who is clumsy in speech. I won't play a debate match with you late at night. Here we are, directly exposing the girls in action to the public. Let girls know this guy is also a real man who is upright and upright. Even if we like you again, but my sincerity, you will never be allowed to consume wantonly all the time. And when girls feel we are determined not to give in this time, only then will she face this guy's feelings head on. After a few minutes, the girl replied, I know you are good to me, not a girl. Can't you be more reserved? And I've already taken the initiative to find you so many times. Can't you just let me? The guy seeing this was shaken. I asked him to wake up a little bit. If a girl takes the initiative once or twice, even if it's sincerity, what does the guy's efforts day after day count? Being reserved definitely cannot be a reason for girls to take advantage. So here's the thing. We can't afford to compromise. How far should this guy go? To what extent? Let this relationship gradually fade away. Forget it, you can keep the good guy card. Give it to someone else. From now on, I'll do whatever it takes in love. Be cautious about giving. This time, I'll be the one to step back first. I won't let myself be treated as a fool and stay put. We tell the girls directly here. We can put up with your little temper. But we will never back down when it comes to feelings. Blind tolerance can't buy genuine feelings. Only those brave enough to fight it all. Only then can we rise from the ashes. What do you mean here? Took me half an hour to come back. I don't think you're stupid. I really just feel like we don't know each other well enough. Can't you wait a bit longer? Why are you always in such a rush? Do you guys look familiar? Would you like to wait? What are you waiting for? Remember that love can't wait. All that is waiting for is compromise, not love. I'll tell the guy you are a man. Don't be a timid turtle. Be bold and be the warrior who charges for love. Even if it fails, it's still braver than being a coward. The guy is finally brave again. I replied to the girl myself, Why are you waiting for you to wear a wedding dress for someone else? Do you want me to pay you a share? I followed you carefully and waited for so long. You never look back. Okay, you are cruel enough. Can't beat you. I'm tired. Goodbye. Have you finished sending this message? So, this guy just straight up blocked the girl. He told me, then it hit me. For her, I'm almost driving myself insane. It's not worth it this time. I want to take care of myself. Have you seen the transformation in your guy? I'm really relieved. I told him, you don't have to be so down. What about when you're not scared of losing her? That's when you find love. What about the next month? I'll be there with my guy. Watch with your own eyes. 
The guy put time and energy into his own life. Every few days, they all share their daily life in reels. Everyone is in high spirits. A lot. Although Nobita's little life was enjoyable, but failure is a word that's not in my dictionary. I know this girl will definitely come back to him. Sure enough, a few more days passed. The guy found me, said she asked my friend to pass me a message, said he wanted to have a serious chat with me in person. Should I go? See this and tell this guy. So, step up with confidence. It's time for your love story to bloom. After that, buddy, heed my advice. I met up with the girl the next day. We both spilled our guts. We had a heart-to-heart -heart about everything on our minds. It cleared up a bunch of misunderstandings. She seemed like a whole new person after that. I've been chasing this dude and texting him daily. We're both exhausted from being together so much. It's been over a month. Finally, on a date, this dude hit the jackpot. Just a couple days ago, he sent me wedding pics with the girl. Dashan also told me after snapping the photo, the girls are with him. The thing I've said the most is, thank God, my husband, you were so persistent back then. I didn't miss out on you. So guys, as long as you can think outside the box, even if the girl says it's not right, it can still be a golden opportunity for you to win her heart. If you're looking to master the art of attracting girls, want them to pursue you, or need advice on love and dating recovery, then stay tuned to my videos. Don't forget to like, share with your loved ones, and subscribe to the Dark Psychology World channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.